Recent treatment advances in chronic myeloid leukemia mean that most people diagnosed with CML today can expect to have a good quality of life and a normal lifespan. The most common treatment for CML is targeted therapy with a group of medicines known as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs for short. These targeted drugs work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal, healthy cells. Treatment options like stem cell transplantation, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy are used or added when TKIs cannot be taken or are not working. The type and amount of treatment needed depends on which phase your CML is in, your general health, and symptoms. CML is divided into three phases, based mainly on the number of blasts, that's the immature white blood cells in your blood and bone marrow. Each phase of CML is treated differently based on your age, spleen size, platelet counts, blast count, that's the concentration of immature blood cells in your blood, and concentration of white blood cells in your blood. During the chronic phase, TKIs are commonly used and often successful in bringing blood counts back to normal levels and reducing or getting rid of the CML cells altogether. Imatinib, also called Gleevec, was the first TKI used to treat CML. There are generic options available. In 20 to 25 percent of people, imatinib may stop working. And in these cases, there are a number of different kinds of TKIs that may be used. When CML is in the accelerated phase, higher doses of TKIs or other therapies may be necessary because it's more difficult to achieve long-term control. Your doctor may suggest allogenic bone marrow transplantation, BMT. Bone marrow transplantation replaces damaged bone marrow with healthy bone marrow cells from a matched donor. When CML moves into the blast phase, treatment can be more challenging, and options include the use of TKIs in combination with chemotherapy, bone marrow transplantation, or a clinical trial. Chemotherapy is a treatment option that uses powerful chemicals to kill fast-growing cancer cells, which means it can also affect normal, healthy cells that are fast-growing too. While used less often, your doctor may recommend chemotherapy if TKI stop working or cause severe side effects, to prepare for stem cell transplant, or to control symptoms and to improve the quality of life for people living with advanced CML. The most common chemotherapy drugs to treat CML include hydroxyurea, busulfan, cytarabine, omasetaxin. Some chemotherapy drugs may also be used in combination with immunotherapy medications like interferons. All medications may have potential side effects, which may decrease over time. With TKIs, the most common side effects include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, rashes, fatigue, headaches, fluid retention. TKIs have revolutionized CML treatment, increasing five-year survival rates from 31 to 89 percent, turning a once fatal cancer into a manageable disease. Research is finding that it may even be possible for some people to stop taking TKIs if their CML has been under control for two or more years. Know that you will be better able to manage your CML and have a better quality of life by reaching out, communicating with your healthcare team, and surrounding yourself with a support network. You are not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand your CML treatment options and manage the road that lies ahead.